Maganda or Maga, Kumusta everybody. This is Scott, expat in the Philippines. We're down at the dog park and, and there's no dogs down here at the moment, but uh, this is uh, goes right down to the bottom there and right down to the bottom of the hill and up the top there. And you got seats so you can sit down and relax uh, also some seats there for the dogs to uh, have fun with and they have a dog training uh, area down the bottom there uh, where you can run your dogs and train them up and that this is good actually because you can um, if you sort of don't feel like taking your dog for a walk you can bring her down here or him and let them loose and let them run around and play with other dogs and get them get to uh, talk to other people while you're here which is great uh, it's fun and it's interesting and uh, you have uh, also um, a area where uh, you throw your rubbish dog rubbish in and the dog laws and um, what you're entitled to do maximum of two dogs per person dogs must be six months old uh, ensure dogs are fully vaccinated aggressive dogs are not welcome children under five not permitted well we brought CJ down and he's only two uh, he's only one year old so uh, 19 months now uh, children under 14 not to supervise dogs, no chokers or spike collars, no toys or rough handling, no food in dog park, training treats accepted. To ensure everybody's safety, wear a collar, wear current cancel registration tags, be fully supervised, be under effective voice control, whatever that's supposed to mean, be on a leash outside the dog's park, Dog litter must be removed and disposed responsibly and been provided. So, you know, we have the laws of the um, dog park and also um, who you call in emergency for um, whether your dog's been injured and that. It's great to see um, that there are places for um, dogs to play in and enjoy life and just have a general run around. Uh, uh, that's it. Anyway, this has been Scott, expat in the Philippines, live in Melbourne. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.